This video introduces the project Sequential Dexterity, Chaining Dexterous Policy for Long Horizon Manipulation. How can we enable robots equipped with dexterous hands to perform challenging long horizon manipulation tasks, for example, building a Lego tower from a pile of blocks? Prior works in dexterous manipulation showcase that the hand can be a versatile manipulator with diverse functionalities. These range from basic object grasping, in-hand reorientation, to more intricate human-like activity such as playing piano. However, most of these works focus on studying a single skill. The potential of chaining multiple dexterous skills to accomplish long-horizon manipulation tasks has remained unexplored. One straightforward idea is to directly connect two separate skills one after the other. To verify this idea, we design a tool positioning task where the robot is asked to first pick up a hammer from the table, then in-hand rotate the hammer to a ready-to-use pose. We train two skills separately with PPO reinforcement learning algorithm and evaluate the performance by executing two skills in sequence. As demonstrated in this video, this method fails to achieve the goal. This result highlights the inherent difficulties in chaining dexter skills. Given an initial state and a task goal, the first skill results in a broad end state distribution with the object held in various in hand poses. However, only a small subset of these end states are suitable for the execution of the second skill. This gives us a key insight that the successful skill chaining requires the end state distribution of prior skill to be feasible for the next skill to start with. This finding is typical in dexterous manipulation, which contains tool manipulation and in hand reorientation. How the object is held in hand in the first place will directly affect the strategy of the following skills. To tackle this challenge, we propose a bidirectional optimization framework. The key here is to allow the first skill to provide the end state distribution, and in turn, for the second skill to inform the first skill of its feasible states. More concretely, we introduced a two-stage pipeline consists of a forward initialization and a backward fine-tuning. During forward initialization, once a prior policy has been trained in, we gather an end state distribution via policy rollouts. The initial states for training the subsequent policy is then sampled from the state distribution. After training each skill with forward initialization, we start the backward fine-tuning process. A transition feasibility function for each skill is trained with a rollout dataset which maps the initial state to the sum of rewards by the end of the skill execution. This function is then leveraged as an auxiliary reward for fine-tuning the preceding policy. This bidirectional optimization framework enables the dexterous policy to reach an intermediate state distribution that facilitates smooth skill chaining. We found that our approach significantly enhanced the task success rate when chaining two dexterous policies. The robot learns to adjust the pose of the hammer prior to lifting it, thereby facilitating the subsequent in-hand reorientation skill. To further validate our method, we developed a long-horizon task requiring the robot to construct a Lego structure from a pile of blocks. This process involved four skills, including searching the target block from the box, reorienting the block to an easy-to-grasp pose, grasping the block pieces, and finally inserting the block at the desired location. We train four skill with a bidirectional optimization framework in ISAC gym. By training each sub-policy with multiple Lego shapes, the learned policy are able to handle unseen block pieces. Here are the evaluation rollouts of each skill handled in different type of Lego blocks. After training each sub-policy with bidirectional optimization framework, we can now chain them into a sequence and perform a long-horizon structure-building task. To transform the learn policy to the real world, we develop an object tracking system consists of a top-down camera and a wrist RGBD camera mounted on the robot. In the beginning, the top-down camera localizes a target block and guide the end effector towards it. Then, we use a color-based segmentation method to localize the target block in the wrist view and use XMEM to track the segment. Based on the segmentation RGBD inputs, dense fusion is used to estimate the 60 poles of the block in real time. Our system is able to zero-shot transfer to a real-world dexterous robot. 
Here we demonstrate the system of building four different structures. In the last video, we test the robustness of the system by hiding the target block in a cluttered scene and poking away the block when it is held in hand. Our system utilizes the transition feedability functions to select the best policy to execute at different stages and replan after disturbances. For more information, please see the website sequential.github.io. Thanks for watching.